Unit 7, Recording 19.1 Management and Financial Accounting, Section 2 As far as financial accounting is concerned, it mostly deals with the past and the financial aspects that have already taken place. The final accounts or financial statements produced through financial accounting are designed to disclose the firm's business performance and financial health. In the UK, the documents which are required are a company's balance sheet and a profit and loss account. Financial accounting also shows assets and liabilities and provides a cash flow statement. Therefore, FA shows how the company has performed over a fixed period of time. What makes this financial tool extremely important is the fact that it provides a general idea of the company's financial strengths and weaknesses over a certain period of time. What is more, all registered companies have to provide a financial report in a special form, as it is a legal requirement and is monitored against professional standards such as GAAP, which stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Accounts have to be provided in a standard form, especially the profit and loss account, balance sheet and cash flow statement, which is slightly different from the first two because it is not always necessary, as it is required when the company is a PLC. That is a public limited company whose shares can be traded on the stock exchange. The statements are audited by independent accountants in contrast to management accounting reports which are detailed, technical and often experimental and can be modified to meet the needs of its intended users. Furthermore, after financial accounting documents have been checked, the results of inspection have to be sent to shareholders and to a legal registry body. In the UK, it is called Companies House which approved standards and principles financial accounting must comply with and if any illegal practices are found that can result in serious charges against the company and in some cases, senior company officials can be prosecuted. Another key point about financial accounting is that it deals with the whole company and is available for external stakeholders, for example, potential shareholders, financial analysts, customers as well as bankers and taxmen. Consequently, since this information is released for public consumption and is highly anticipated by investors, companies must be very careful about how they make calculations and how figures are reported. So the difference between management accounting and financial accounting occurs in three distinct ways which are interconnected. Firstly, the time accounting tends to look at. Secondly, its legal status, whether it is a legal requirement or not, and finally, its target audience. These three differences are also reflected in the sort of documentation which is provided for accounting purposes.